Hello, so in today's video, we're going to differentiate the function, the modulus of sine of x. So you want to differentiate the, uh, the absolute value of the sine function. Um, and we can obviously do this using the chain rule. So we've done lots of examples in previous videos where we use the chain rule to differentiate functions like this. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So by using the chain rule, so by using the chain rule, what we can do is differentiate this absolute value of this sine function. And using our chain rule formula, we know that this is going to be uh, the same as differentiating the modulus of sine x function with respect to the sine x function. And then multiply that by the derivative of the sine x function with respect to the variable x. Um, so yeah, that's how uh, just an application of using our chain rule. So if we go ahead and do this then, so we know from a previous video that when we differentiate the modulus of x with respect to such variable x, we get the modulus of x over x. So therefore, when we differentiate uh, the modulus of sine of x with respect to the variable sine of x, we're just gonna get the modulus of sine of x over sine of x. So we have that there. Uh, and then we're going to multiply this by the derivative of sine of x with respect to x. And we know from previous videos that when we differentiate the sine function, we just get the cos, the cosine function. So cos of x. So this is just going to be cos of x there. Um, so great. So what we get then as a final result is we get um, well, we can write it like this, couldn't we? So, so that we've got the modulus of sine of x there, multiplied by cos of x over sine of x. But this is actually just the same. Well, this cos of x over sine of x is just the same as the cotangent function, so cos of x. So what we can say in conclusion then is that when we differentiate the uh, modulus of sine of x, we get... Uh, as we got back here, the modulus of sine of x, so modulus of sine of x, multiplied by the cot function, cos of x. And that's our final result for this video. Um, however, it's just worth noting where this modulus of sine of x function is defined for. So this is only defined, so defined for all real values of x apart from zero. So x uh, can't be zero. And that's because, uh, well, if we think about it, uh, the cotangent uh, function evaluated at zero does not exist um, because cot, uh, cos of zero is undefined. And that's just because this cos of zero is equal to cosine of zero over sine of zero. Um, and so therefore, yeah, so this derivative can't be defined for values of x equal to zero, but for all other values of x, this derivative does hold true.